Hey, hey, Nick Unsworth here, and I am so excited to share with you a story about one of my favorite, favorite clients, Tracy Sakon. And I'm gonna share with you the power of vision. Her story embodies what happens when you latch onto a vision that's so much bigger than the game you're playing today. When you have a huge vision for your life that's literally to change the world and make a difference, what this story about her is gonna illustrate is that your life goes from pushing and pushing that, that rock up the mountain to literally being just like pulled through life. And she is on such a journey, such a ride, and it all started with this one technique and gave her the power of vision. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna take you back to when I first met Tracy, and I'm just gonna break down her story and share with you what happened when she just grabbed onto a vision that is so big, literally a world-changing vision. And so um, I met Tracy uh, through one of our events, and she ended up signing up for our coaching program. So we do one-on-one -on -one coaching, and one of the, th the things that we do really well is we help entrepreneurs, we help world changers, leaders, uh, executives, CEOs, we help um, to really help create the vision for your life and dig deep to pull out that raw calling and that purpose in your life. And so she sat down with me and her intention was to sit down and talk about growing her insurance brokerage. And so she's very successful in the insurance space. She actually saved <laughs> Megan and I like 2,000 bucks a year on our just like personal insurance. It was like pretty crazy. I think it was like 1,600 bucks. But uh, anyway, she's so good at what she does. And she had such a heartfelt story about why she's in insurance and you know how the industry has impacted her life and how she's literally helped so many people, not just save money, but she's been there when someone unfortunately passed away and, and the death benefit checks were there. And, and she's so driven by purpose with that business. And so she came to me about marketing and about growing that company. And what I did was I brought her through a process that I teach called the three S strategy. And I brought her through, the first S is her story, and then we got into her stance, and then into her strategy. And so when I got into her, her background story, it illuminated this really important mission and this drive that she has. And, and you know, we're talking about insurance, we're talking about why she's doing what she's doing. But as I asked questions, really was doing fact finding, she started talking about you know, her son and she started talking about autism and how you know, when, when, she, when her son was diagnosed with autism, how that became such a huge mission in her life to find a better way that she was not happy with the existing treatments and what was available to her as a mom, you know, helping to raise, you know, an autistic child and help to, you know, it, it better him on the spectrum and to help him in his life and his learning and in all these different areas. And so she started to share all these things that she did. She went, you know, did tons of research and she went to all these different areas and different treatment centers. And she basically like created her own like formula, if you will, to help treat her son and she completely and radically changed his life. And for me, I have done supported Autism Speaks and, and other autism walks, and I have some familiarity. And to this point in my life, I had never heard of um, someone almost, I, I don't wanna say being cured of it, but being so radically shifted that it's almost off the spectrum. And so I'm like, that's incredible. I mean, that like, what an incredible thing that you did as a mother you know, for your child. And I was like, how did it make you feel? And she just got so into it. I could see her eyes lighting up and I could see just how much, how much just fire she had and passion she had um, to help make a difference about autism. And so the next thing was, I, that was her story. And then, you know, when I got to the point about her stance and I was like, well, Tracy, you know, what do you stand for? Like, what's the movement that you want to create? What pisses you off? And when I asked her that question, and I want you to insert yourself in the story, imagine me asking you that question. And for her, it wasn't about insurance. You know, she came to me for insurance, you know, to market her business and create more cash flow and other things. But what, what she quickly realized that, you know, her stand is to make a difference. Her stand is to help other children, you know, um, enhance their lives, you know, the other children that have autism, that are, that are autistic. And so when we got to that point, I then asked her a very important question. I said, so Tracy, if you literally won the Powerball, 
it was $100 billion. Like imagine this hypothetical example, I call this the lottery example. If you won $100 billion and you've traveled the world for two years, you've given to so many different organizations, what would you do with your time? What would you do with your life? What would make a difference? What would light you up inside? You know, what would your vision for your life be? And, uh, and what would you be doing for your career? Because you wouldn't just golf all day, you know, like you would want to have something that drives you. You'd want to build a legacy. And all of a sudden, boom, in that moment, everything became crystal clear. I will never forget that moment sitting at that table across from her when all of a sudden she just, she just saw her vision. And it's so profound and so powerful that when you grab onto your vision for your life, and it may be a lot bigger than the game you're playing today, and it was for Tracy, when she saw her vision of, you know, of, of building an autism treatment center, she instantly just got emotional. I got emotional, and she just saw that, you know what, Nick? I would devote my life to beating autism. I would devote my life to, to, to finding a better way and changing the world. And I would build an autism treatment center because I know what to do. I know what I did for my son and I can help string all that together. And she got so fired up and I just sat there. And for me, I got goosebumps and it was like, boom, that's it. I knew that that was her stance. Her background story was about insurance and about all these different things. But her stance in life, her purpose and her mission, her vision was about building the autism treatment center. And so. Right there and then, I said, well, what if you just did that? What if that was what you do? And instantly, just like everyone else, as soon as you have a big vision and you say, well, what if you just did that? If money didn't matter, what if you just did that? What happens is most people initially have so much fear over it because it's like, but Nick, I've never started a nonprofit. I don't know how to build an autism treatment center. Like, where would I start? What would I do? You see, the how is where everyone gets stuck. The how is, how would I do that? I've never done that before. And you know what? Before we went to the moon, we had no clue how we would get to the moon, but it started with a what? It started with a vision. And you have to have the vision. First, when you have the vision, then you can actually start to make progress towards it. The universe will conspire to bring you the steps, but you've got to have the faith inside to actually take the step into the complete abyss, having no clue how she would do it, but she just had to have the faith in herself, the faith in her coach, trust the process, and just go for it. And so what ends up happening is she got fired up and said, you know what, as much as this scares me, as much as I have no clue how I'm going to do it, I'm gonna just declare this. I'm going to declare my vision and make it real. And that's the next part of this process, is that as soon as you see the vision for your life and it gives you that goosebump, those goosebumps, and you know deep down that if, if money were no issue, that's what you would do, she declared it publicly. When you declare it publicly and you say what your vision is, I tell you that's where so much power comes in. I'm getting goosebumps now just thinking about it because she declared it boldly, had no clue how she was gonna do it, but she declared it. And she then made a vision board. She's then gone on to write a letter to herself, which is another part of the process. She wrote a letter to herself as if she has already built that autism treatment center. And what that letter does is it provides for her inspiration every single day. It provides power and courage for her when she wakes up as an insurance agent and has no clue how the heck she's gonna build an autism treatment center. She reads the letter as if she has already done it. And it powers her up every single day. And you know what, that letter, not only does it give the courage, but it also helps to reframe all that fear. And it turns the fear into motivation. And so what she did that I love is she took it a step further. She actually got a tattoo where I have a tattoo, you know, on my chest of a goal with a date on it. She tattooed on her wrist a picture of a puzzle piece, which is the symbol for Autism Speaks in the date 2019. That is the date that she will have built an autism treatment center. And then by doing so, what has happened is that everything has been been coming together and getting into motion for it. She's already working on her board. She's already gone through Adam Braun from Pencils of Promises course about how to start a nonprofit. She is right at the, at the cusp of actually having her 501c3 form. So it's like she had no clue how she was gonna do it, but she had the faith in herself in the vision that she has over her life. She declared it, she tattooed a goal on her wrist and said, I'm going for it. And isn't it interesting that her insurance business is absolutely flourishing as a result? because before it was about pushing the boulder up the hill, bringing on more insurance producers and doing it to make more money. She was already comfortable financially. And why are you gonna bust your butt to make more money 
For what? For savings? For retirement? You know, as, as entrepreneurs, we've got to find ways to motivate ourselves. As soon as the Autism Treatment Center came into the fold, her insurance agent has a totally different purpose. Her insurance agency is now she's bringing on other producers and agents that can help create leverage so that she can bankroll and she can build up capital and have more time freedom so that she can go out and build this actual treatment center. So the point of all this is that everything shifts, everything changes when you have that vision for your life. And that's one thing that I am so passionate about. That's one thing, if you know me, you know my story, everything in my life shifted when I was 50 grand in debt. I had 11 business failures. As soon as I got a vision, I just caught a vision for my life about building and selling a company in two years, had no clue how I was gonna do it, but I followed that same process. I wrote the letter, I declared it, and then all of a sudden, things started coming together. And so sometimes you just have to step in faith when you have a big vision and trust that the how will show up. And so what I want to do is I wanna encourage you that if this inspired even just a, 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 an iota of you, just a, just a tiny little part of you, and that if you're watching this right now and listening to me, if you feel that there's a bigger game for your life, that you feel that you've got a calling on the inside, you feel that you've got a bigger vision for your life that maybe you're not living, you know, maybe that there's something that you've always dreamt of doing that you're not doing today. I want to help draw that out of you. I want to help see you take that vision to a whole new level and put it into action. This isn't just sitting back doing ums and you know waiting for the law of attraction. This is about getting into motion and chasing that vision down and courageously pursuing your dream. So I've got an incredible strategy on how to do this. It's my gift to you. I've taught hundreds of, of entrepreneurs and executives and coaches and other people on how to clarify their vision, go from overwhelm and then take it all the way down into a, a clear, concise, tangible vision and then the strategy. And I'm gonna break these steps down for you on a completely free training. So what I want you to do is go to myvideogift.com. So myvideogift.com, it's my gift to you. It is a complete training on how you can do this for your life, how you can create your vision, get into action, and just live a life that's way bigger than you're playing right now. Change the world. Do something that you've always dreamed of. We've only got one shot at life, so why not go freaking big? Go all the way in. So again, just go to myvideogift.com and uh, just enter your name and email and join me for an incredible workshop about how to craft your vision and then take the action to turn it into reality and live your life on fire. Hope to see you on the inside.